there's only five days left till we see the possible Ripple and SEC settlement. This could actually trigger XRP to go past its all-time high significantly to the $7 to $13 range. In fact, recently, a well-known lawyer that is quite popular stated that a settlement agreement could be reached at any time without the public's knowledge in which nobody outside the parties will know whether there is a settlement or not. This is really important to understand because it could mean that as we speak, a settlement is being negotiated. And before we get right into it, make sure you guys hit that like button and of course, hit that subscribe button with your post notifications on because we're trying to hit 12,000 subscribers and let's get right back in. In fact, just recently some mind-blowing news was announced. The US Federal Reserve has proposed to take complete ownership of XRP including the Ripple Network also known as Ripple Net System and they also stated that they would block all retail purchases of XRP and rather use XRP as their CBDC or what's known as their digital dollar, their central bank digital currency. Now this would actually make a lot of sense as the US bank is trying to launch their digital dollar program but has been quite unsuccessful. So with XRP already being globally accepted and globally used across multiple continents, it only makes sense that the US would want to take advantage of this opportunity. In fact, Ripple's also an official partner of the World Economic Forums, which makes it an even better option. So a lot of people seen this video where I posted a video of a major venture capitalist that actually said that he's seen the private ledger of XRP and that the price on the private ledger was $327,000. Yet so many people really question the fact that is there a private ledger ledger or is there not a private ledger some even making up the fact that they believe the private ledger doesn't exist and this is where i'm going to debunk all of it. guys it's not a discussion as to whether the private ledger exists or doesn't exist because it is a fact ripple announced it on march 3rd of 2021 stating that ripple is pivoting on a private version of the open source public xrp ledger that allows central banks to create and manage a digital currency enabling global interoperability what people don't understand is that it's so important to emphasize that ripple must have a private ledger and this is because because especially when you're doing things on a major scale for financial institutions, transferring money from cross borders, it is important to understand that banks are going to want their individual private ledger. And more importantly, central banks, countries, their central banks are going to want to be able to control their own currency. You can't have a public ledger that is controlling a single currency. It's just impossible to do. So what is going to happen is you have a private ledger. That private ledger is individualized for every single country or for every single bank. And that is how they do cross-border payments. So it is important to understand that. Now, 327,000 might be a little absurd in my mind. But like the co-founder of Ripple Labs personally stated back in a quote in 2017, in which he said XRP must be scalable to accommodate 7.5 billion people. He also mentioned that the the only way that XRP could be able to maintain and run the RippleNet system is if it's valued at $10,000. In fact, Steve Wayne, a major real estate investor and successful gambler, also revealed his predictions in which he believes that XRP is going to increase in adoption and will push to $10,000. So speaking of XRP in the five digits is now becoming more and more likely. And before we go any further, I want to remind you guys of MetalCrypto.com where you can buy your own physical Ripple XRP coin, Litcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, or any and all of the other cryptocurrencies. So they have two XRP coins. This one with the XRP symbol comes in gold and silver. And they also have this one, which is more of your Ripple XRP coin, also comes in gold and silver. But yeah, they have other ones like Shiba Inu for the memes, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and all of the others. So make sure you guys check them out. The link will be down below and you will get 10% off if you use my code. And with all the crazy news that's coming out about Amazon's payment service officially partnering with Ripple and using XRP to go ahead and transfer payments, XRP has become a really big speaker. Now this is really cool, so I just thought I'd include it in the video. As you guys can see, XRP is going to be the main transferring domain. So every country is going to have the banks that are on the side. So four banks right here, all of them lead to the central bank of India, for example. And then when India wants to do a transfer to the US, that would cross through XRP and then go to US. And again, this is very, very nice. It does show you that it's no risk low cost and the payments are instant all right back to the public private ledger thing i want to show you guys this clip which i think is crucial as you guys can see in which brad garlinghouse personally went out and spoke about the fact that there is a private ledger because people don't seem to get that there is a private ledger there is a private ledger and it's again not in question as to whether there is or not it's a fact but let's go and roll the clip with one of the largest banks in the middle east and we went to market and we went live and we had a call from a very upset Middle Eastern banker saying, wait a minute, people can see my transactions. I don't want people to see my transactions. So look, blockchain is powerful and a public ledger can be leveraged to make transactions. 
But banks, I mean, if every SCB transaction was written to a public ledger, would, people, would SCB be excited about that? The answer is no, I'll tell you very certainly. The, the nature of how our, we have evolved our technology, yes, some of it, XRP is a public open ledger. A different part of Ripple's technology that connects banks to the liquidity solutions, these are private, think about it almost as a private temporary blockchain between two banks. It's cryptographically signing the transaction, holding it in escrow and releasing it at the same time so you never have a situation where a transaction doesn't complete. All right, time to talk dollar bills. Phil Hill Capital, a major investment firm, went ahead and talked about the predicted price of XRP in the next 10 years. They actually also did a calculation and they deducted it by 10% to show you guys a discounted rate for the price of XRP. Now keep in mind this is implied value of the full diluted XRP and it starts off at around 39 cents where we are currently at. At the time of recording this video the market is currently down with XRP down about 2.92% making it almost 39 cents. Bitcoin also down 1.18%, Ethereum down just below 1%, Binance 3.64% and the favorite Dogecoin is minus 4.59%. But the next milestone here from the 39 cents is predicted to be $3.86, then 3855, 385 dollars and 54 cents, then 3855 dollars and 43 cents, then it goes ahead and 10 x this to 38,554 dollars and 33 cents, and finally at the 10 year mark it hits 385,543 dollars and 29 cents. So yeah guys, when we talk about XRP being 39 cents and possibly hitting, you know, $385,443.29 in 10 years is money that nobody could ever really dream of. Here's another price prediction by Crypto Bill, also a well-known person in the crypto XRP industry, and he has stated that he believes XRP could potentially hit up to $160. So as you guys can see in this chart right here, Starts off at 0 0.06, then 0 0.45, then 3.84, making its way all the way up to 25 and then $160. And he did this using previous analysis. So if you look at 2014, when XRP hit 0.06 cents, then in 2017 it hit 0.45, 2018 it hit 3.84. Then if we look at this bull run that's coming up, $25 and then 160 XRP Doran says that even though he doesn't agree with the price targets, he does believe that the structure looks legit and that it could actually possibly happen. All right, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you're not new following me on Twitter, make sure you guys do hit that follow button. My Twitter, Instagram, and all my social media links are down below. I've also started a second channel, so go ahead and subscribe to that as well. I want to end up this video with a quote and that is hard work will always pay off. So if you do your research and you're consistently looking to better yourself, whether it be financially or physically, if you put in the effort, you will achieve. So if you're looking to go ahead and invest in maybe a cryptocurrency and you do your research and you are really dedicated to understanding it properly, then eventually your research will pay off and you will get a positive out. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you'd like me to do more motivational codes at the end of every video i think it's a crazy cool idea but i hope you guys enjoy it follow me on twitter instagram all that and i'll see you guys in the next video